Hi. Quite some time back, or uh, several years ago in fact, I did a drive time rant video where I recommended that uh, beginners and those looking for a uh, low cost oscilloscope and if they can't afford one of the three four hundred dollar modern digital scopes to go out and get themselves a low cost second hand uh, traditional 20 megahertz dual channel or something like that uh, crow cathode ray oscilloscope the old-fashioned analog oscilloscope and I mentioned in that video that you can probably pick one up for about 50 bucks or something like that uh, or even I mentioned that you can get them for free but let's uh, you know that is uh, certainly a valid uh, option people just give these things away but if you can't find one like that for some reason then you should be able to pick one up fairly cheaply uh, for 50 bucks or so was the figure that I threw out there and ever since then a lot of people have been going oh bullshit there's no way you can get an old secondhand uh, oscilloscope working like that for you know 50 bucks or anywhere under a hundred bucks it's crazy you know I've been looking and looking forever well you know I don't think you're looking hard enough and to prove it let's have a go here what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to eBay US of course yes don't complain that I'm not gonna do your country etc etc I'm gonna take the US as an example because that's where a lot of my viewer base is and that's where a lot of the uh, complaints come from so let's just search eBay for oscilloscopes and see what we can pick up it shouldn't be too hard at all now here we go let's go for oscilloscope now I haven't logged in at all because I don't have a US account so if I log in under my Australian account it screws things up and a look at this right off the bat we have an analog oscilloscope dual channel 20 megahertz oscilloscope that's your traditional for 50 bucks buy it now let's have a look there's 24 look six are available they've got six of these things available they've sold nine of them let's go down this sale is good for a used easy digital uh, once again it's one of those rebadged those old rebadged uh, brands I'm not sure how uh, good it is good physical and working condition with minor scuffing from normal use there you go included yeah you don't get the probes we'll have a look at that in a minute but look first hit 50 bucks US sure okay postage this one's in uh, Longwood Florida so but if you're in Florida then you can, you know, uh, presumably you can uh, drop by. I don't know if they offer pickup. Some of them do, some of them don't. But shipping and payments, you know, and then you can just get the shipping rates for US. Yes, if you send oscilloscopes overseas, they're big and heavy. So you're obviously looking for something uh, local. Now you can set up, I won't go into the details, but you can set up watch lists on eBay once you've got an account so that you can see, um, or so that you can instantly get notified when a particular search match comes within your particular area so you might do like a 50 kilometer or 50 mile radius around your house for example and then if an oscilloscope art pops up within that region then you'll get identified but look straight off the bat we've got a working dual channel 20 megahertz uh, you know oscilloscope for 50 bucks plus postage okay you've got to include probes probes are going to cost you another 10 bucks postage might cost you 10 20 bucks or something like that yes there's a lot of ebay sellers which rip you off and you know stuff like that but yeah once you start talking about say a tektronix triple two five here we've got 150 bucks but you know you maybe you're not going to get one of the you know you have to be lucky to get say a uh, tektronix there sort of highly sought after for 50 bucks but you can certainly do it so now of course we can uh, sort by price of course but let's uh, go into because we're just searching all categories here at the moment let's go into electrical and test equipment here test equipment 9700 oscilloscopes geez 7000 here we go 7000 but that includes probes and everything else and looky what we have here we have over here this analog uh, type so there let's click on analog and we just get analog oscilloscopes now you can actually miss out on bargains um, if you uh, just narrow it down to analog but it's a good first pass result and we've got 667 oscilloscopes in the US analog oscilloscopes by the looks of it and then we can go in here and we can possibly sort uh, lowest price first and we've got a Tektronix 455 I don't know if that one's working or not 
Is it found in garage? No idea if it's working. Okay, if you can't at least see a trace on the screen or something like that, or they say it's working and uh, tested, then, you know, you'd probably avoid that because the last thing you want as a beginner is to... Uh, you know, uh, have a scope that's, you know, not working, at least one channel's not working, uh, uh, for example. So, uh, now, yeah, we have to get through all the crud here, because we have sorted by price. This isn't working too well at the moment, so let's narrow it down. Now, it's got brand here, but it hasn't got all the brands. It's only got the majors here, Agilent, HP, uh, Tektronix, and the TDS series uh, Tektronix. You can sort by bandwidth, but a lot of... Uh, sellers won't actually put the bandwidth in and of course you can specify used only for example so we can do that we can narrow it down even further but once again if you narrow down to these categories you can miss the occasional bargain but often what I like to do is uh, search for let's go for a uh, a good old brand oscilloscope that's non-mainstream it's not Tektronix or HP for example let's go Hitachi oscilloscope and see what we can get so let's go in and take a look at this one, shall we? We're looking at 80... Hey, check it out. Look, we got free shipping. Free standard shipping on this. Seven people are viewing this item per hour. There we go. I don't get that uh, popping up on the Australian version of eBay. But there you go. And look, there's four available on. There's four left. Okay, at 89 bucks, and it's make an offer. You know, you wouldn't hit buy it now on that. You'd at least knock them down by at least $10, $15 there. I reckon they'd easily take 80 bucks for that, maybe 75 So that's not a problem. Looks that we've got uh, two traces on the screen. Uh, unit has been fully tested and working. There you go. So they claim, okay, yeah, we're not seeing a sine wave on the screen. That'd be nice. But hey, you know, that's a pretty good bet really and that's a 40 megahertz uh dual channel hitachi uh v422 and that is an excellent scope nice bright crisp uh trace on these things often you can't see the uh trace very well because the camera uh you know it, it won't be uh, set very well yeah it's got a few scratches and things like that but those old hitachi scopes very very nice and that's free shipping anywhere in the US. So there you go. I reckon for 80 bucks there, you can easily get yourself a decent 40 megahertz dual channel oscilloscope. So don't tell me you can't get one under 100 bucks. There's four available for goodness sake. Now we're back in the search results here and a feature that a lot of people aren't aware of in eBay is what's called completed listings down here. Here it is. Now if you hit that, that will show you just what it says, the completed listings or the sold listings, what these things actually have uh, sold for in, I think it's the past 60 days or something like that. And here we go, there's 36 results for just, we're still searching Hitachi oscilloscopes here, so we're just searching one particular brand. Let's see what they're going for. That one didn't sell at 99 didn't sell, here we go, look at this, didn't sell at 20 bucks, a lousy 20 bucks, and yeah, that's insane shipping, $643, I think it's determined from my IP address that I'm in Australia, even though I haven't logged in, so it's given me insane shipping rates there, but let's go in and have a look at that, shall we, here we go, used, tested, good working condition, right, for 20 bucks, it didn't even sell, okay, didn't even sell. Yeah, it doesn't have uh, probes, and then, of course, you'd have to uh, type in, then you, ah, well, we can't access the uh, shipping down here because it's an ended option auction, but you could go in there. I'd be surprised if that was over, you know, 20, 30 bucks uh, ground shipping in the US. And if we scroll down here, look at this. Isn't that a familiar picture? There you go. This guy tried to sell this scope twice, for 20 bucks and couldn't sell it in tested good working condition. A Hitachi V212 scope is an excellent scope. It triggers well, it's got a nice bright sharp uh, trace, it's a really good, and it's nice and compact too. Really good little scope. Look, here's another one, 30 megahertz, uh, Hitachi Dens uh, Denshi, um, as they're uh, often called, uh, 20 bucks. Look at that. $23 one bid. Look, it's got the traces up there, so presumably there's nothing wrong with the vertical. $39, $49. Come on, people. There's no excuses, and I've only searched one brand here 
Hitachi. I mean, give me a break. Let's try another one. Kikasui. Yeah, uh, well, <laughs> helps if I spell Kikasui correctly. Here's another old uh, brand, which was very good. And uh, let's see what we can get here. Here we go. A Kikasui COS 5020. This was my first uh, proper oscilloscope, which I saved up all my money for when I was a teenager, and I bought this. I think I paid... Ah, uh, 800 bucks for it or something way back in the uh, 80s. And there you go, 50 bucks, buy it now. Let's look at that, working, real nice. There you go, in working condition for 50 bucks. So don't tell me you can't pick that up, uh, pick up a scope for under 50 bucks. Yeah, shipping, some people rip you off on shipping, just ignore those. Sooner or later, you're going to find one that gives you a good uh, shipping cost. Oh, sorry, that's sold. Oh, there we go. It's sold. Sorry, I'm still on completed listings. So you want to actually unclick those. But, oh, but no, hang on. You can see what they sold for, right? Let's go back and here we go. Uh, 125 uh, digital. Uh, here we go. 14 bucks. There we go. 15 bucks for a COS 5020. Uh, I mean, there, there you go. It sells a bit cheaper because it used and power on, no further testing done. So, yeah, you don't know. As a beginner, you would probably say avoid that one. You want at least um, their sort of, you know, verbal uh, word that, yeah, it's tested and working. And there's an art into choosing, you know, to looking up the history of uh, sellers and whether or not they have any experience with test gear and things like that. Because some are just, you know, coming out of grandpa's garage and they have no idea. Others are uh, surplus test equipment sellers, although they generally uh, tend to sell them for a lot more. And yes, you can uh, find people listing these old scopes for a couple of hundred bucks. And, you know, and they're just a ripoff, really. I mean, let's go down... Yeah, you know, there's a, well, that one, 100, there we go, 125 bucks, didn't sell. It's a COS 7100 uh, series scope, it's got on-screen cursor readout, 100 megahertz, four channel, right? Fantastic, and that didn't sell for 125 bucks. So let's go into this uh, Kikasui 60 megahertz, three channel scope for 99 cents, okay? Nobody's bid on it yet, four days left, so it's been going for a bit nobody's bid on it yeah it may you know it's probably not going to go for 99 cents but you know have a go i mean here it is everything is tested before shipping and guaranteed to work okay and let's put in shipping united states 65 dollars economy shipping okay let's put in say the postcode for mountain view california i'm not sure where this one's yeah it looks like yeah 65 bucks so that's pretty pricey that guy's uh, sort of gouging a little bit, although this is an older, heavier uh, scope. But still, you know, I mean, if you could get that for 10, 20 bucks, you're still well under 100 bucks, even with that expensive shipping. And this little, obviously, we've got the same guy here, he's selling quite a few. So uh, the same seller here selling these multiple scopes, you can probably be sure when he, um, you know, says that it, it basically powers on, it works, that. You know, you're at least going to get your dual traces up, the triggering's going to work, and everything's going to be fine. Although, ideally, what you want is a photo of, uh, you know, at least the test signal from the front panel on the screen. Let's go back to Hitachi scopes for a minute, and it seems now to have picked up that I'm probably from Mountain View, California, so it's showing the shipping rates. Look, you know, $50 buy it now with $27 uh, shipping. You know, this is not $39 shipping. I, uh, there are some that that one's uh, free shipping, of course. We've had a look at that. There you go, twenty-four dollars shipping, seventy-one dollars or best offer. You you know making them offer of uh, you know sixty bucks or something like that. Have a go, why not? But the point is, folks, is that you can pick up these scopes fairly cheaply, and we haven't even. I mean, I could search for a few more hours searching all the major brands, and you know we've already found decent deals, well under a hundred bucks. And I've gone back to basics here. I've just typed in oscilloscope. I've uh, selected the uh, 
analog down here and of course you could put analog as the keyword up there as well and you can you know or search for specific brands if you're serious about getting one of these scopes set up multiple watch lists for different brands and different uh, scenarios just spend a couple of hours on ebay searching around and you'll eventually pick up um, you know keywords and categories and things like that especially in your particular uh, region for example oh look at this newly listed Tektronix 2465 analog scope for 26 bucks 285 byte now that's obviously not going to go for 26 bucks jeez if it did bargain of the century there folks but look here's a Tektronix uh, 60 megahertz 2 channel analog scope a 2213 worked previously currently does not display and squeals ah oh, there we go okay power supply fault uh, don't want to go there but let's keep scrolling down here and have a look and ta-da check it out Gold Star 20 megahertz oscilloscope, right? Nobody's going to be looking, have a search term set up for Gold Star. Hardly anyone, right? It's currently, well, it's, it looks like it's just been listed, seven days left, but it's five bucks, 32 bucks shipping. I mean, hardly anyone's going to want a Gold Star. It's not going to go for, like, you know, the same price as a Tektronix one. There's probably hundreds of people out there with watch lists for Tektronix oscilloscopes. They just love collecting them or they're trying to pick up because, you know, they want a Tektronix. But something like this uh, 20 megahertz dual channel Gold Star, perfectly good. Here we go. Great basic scope. Powers up and displays, works, but hasn't been thoroughly tested. But hey, you know, yeah, if it works, you would definitely take a chance on that. There we go. Looks like it's picking up some uh, 50 hertz hum there. So, you know, it's at least triggering and, and doing and displaying waveforms. You'd definitely take a chance on that. It wouldn't be surprise me if this sucker has uh, no bids or only goes for, you know, 10 or 20 bucks. Even with the $32 shipping, you're probably still going to be able to pick up this scope for 50 bucks or less. You know, I, ah, come on. And of course, you don't often get probes with these things. So let's take a look. Type in oscilloscope probe here. I've selected buy it now over here. I've selected new, so I'm not even looking at uh, secondhand ones here. I've had to go to the second page, of course. I've sorted by uh, price. But look, even directly from China is $6.70 for a switchable uh, 20 megahertz probe, free shipping you know, for six bucks. But of course, if you don't want to get it for China, for example, you could just go US only and that would show US. There you go. Uh, US uh, sellers are eight bucks for a single probe. And I've even seen, look, here we go, a pair. Look, 100 megahertz, 200 megahertz switch. I assume they're switchable for 10 bucks with free shipping. Are you kidding me? So who cares if you, you know, you pay 50 bucks for your scope. Okay, you might pay an extra 10 bucks. Here's two brand new probes. Yeah, they're probably a bit of a heap of crap and they may not last you a lifetime. But hey, it'll get you off the ground. No problems whatsoever. There you go. So don't tell me that you can't get a scope plus probes for under 50 bucks because you can. And I haven't even scratched the surface. I've only been here for 10, 15 minutes searching. I haven't even done, you know, any detailed uh, type search. This is just basic top level stuff. Now, somebody on Twitter said that, oh, I can't get, you know, anywhere near that price in the UK. I can't find a damn thing. Impossible. Well, let's have a look. I've gone to ebay.co.uk. I really virtually never search uh, eBay uh, UK, of course. They pop up occasionally. But anyway, I've typed in the generic search term oscilloscope here. I've gone into the test equipment category, into the specific oscilloscope category. And, of course, you can narrow that down to UK only if you don't want any overseas stuff. You can narrow it down to used. There's 103 used items, so we can click on those. But look, here we go. Uh, 99 uh, cent, uh, cents or pence or whatever it is. Okay, uh, one pound, one lousy pound for this HP oscilloscope dual channel. Reserve, no, oh, okay, they've got a stupid reserve. General wear and tear. So it looks like this one is going to be a winner in terms of in good working order but could do with the calibration. Well, they often uh, say that. That's a very common thing to get because, you know, either they're bullshitting or they just don't know. Oh, it might need a calibration. But I've bought scopes like that before and they've just been bang on. So, you know, um, don't let that scare you at all. Not sure why the image isn't coming up there. 
and let's have a look. Uh, tell equipment, you know, that's a, yeah, and we're getting some old stuff, but here's a rapid electronics one. We can take a look at that. There's a Hitachi, there we go, V525, 50 megahertz oscilloscope, used, working or includes test probe, full working order. Look at that. Two pounds twenty. Okay, there's a few bids, so thirteen pounds postage, and uh, the fifty US dollars is like uh, twenty five uh, pounds or uh, something like that. So yeah, that one you know may not go for under that uh, fifty US uh, magical dollar mark with uh, the thirteen pounds postage there, but. You know, I mean, we can click it once again. You can just have a look at the completed listings here and see what they've gone for. And look, here we go. Here's a Tektronix oscilloscope 7704A, full working condition, did not sell, folks, for one pound, including 25 pounds, uh, well, uh, plus 25 pounds postage. And that's cheap because... It's, uh, this is a big, old, heavy monster. It really is. But this thing, look, in great working order. Comes complete with these modules. 80 megahertz. Bright focus trace. Yeah, this is, you know, this is a real big scope. Okay, so if you're, you know, some student in your dorm room or something, you know, you've just got a little bed sit and that's all you've got. Okay, you may not have room for something like this, but geez, come on. Full working condition. This was a fantastic scope in its day. Absolutely unbelievable. Full working condition. Didn't sell for one pound. So don't tell me you can't get in the UK a working scope. That's a Tektronix for goodness sake. Give me a break. And yeah, okay, we've got some uh, crustier ones down here. But here we go. Here's an Isotech one, right? Just one of those uh, rebadged 20 megahertz dual beam. Bought a few weeks ago off eBay, now surplus, cosmetically a bit ropey, but it looks like no handle, blah, whoop de doo it, it electrically sound and focus trace, it works. Okay, and that one went for £13. Give me a break. Here's a current listing, Rapid Electronics, just a rebadged, uh, looks like a dual channel 20 megahertz scope, missing handles and stand, whoop de doo no attachments or manuals, whoop de doo pick up one of those cheap uh, scope probes, due to its collection, okay, they're not going to ship it, uh, what, there you go, uh, parcel force, 22 pounds, okay, this thing, nobody's going to have a watch list on a bloody Rapid Electronics oscilloscope like this, so, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if you picked that up, for one pound or five pounds, or it, or it just didn't sell, right? Unbelievable! Ah, oh, I've only been at this for five minutes. It's not hard. And yes, I know I'll get a whole bunch of people complaining. Well, I can't find that in my country. Well, I'm not going to go through every country. Australia is unfortunately one of those countries as well. And let's have a look at eBay Australia, shall we? I search for oscilloscope in the oscilloscope uh, section. There's 43 of them. Uh, you know, it's not easy to pick up. A, a cheap analog scope here, but it certainly is possible. Look at this. Tell them they're dreaming. 350 bucks, right? Buy it now for this. Yeah, it's a nice old Philips with the LCD readout. Oh, come on, they're dreaming. Look, 350 bucks. Look, ah, uh, oh, 50 megahertz, two, uh, two, two channel GW for 350, 455. Buy it now. No wonder it's got no bloody bids with one day left. Unbelievable. Ah. Yeah, you know, they can go for just really stupid prices, but um, you've seen in my video the Tektronix 2225, a very nice uh, dual channel 50 megahertz Tektronix. I think I picked that up for under, um, well under 100 bucks in Australia here. You know, I'm not sure what uh, po uh, postage I paid for it, but, you know, it was certainly a reasonable price. You've just got to wait and be patient and set up those watch lists. You know, so don't tell me you can't get scopes for that price in your country. You most likely can. You've just got to keep watching and know how to use eBay. And, of course, this is just eBay. I haven't even mentioned, you know, things like Craigslist in the US, where that's huge and where you can pick up. I hear a lot of people picking up good uh, scope and other uh, test equipment, multimeter bargains on there, things like that. Gumtree in Australia is a similar one, and there's various auction sites and various other uh, places on the Internet as well, depending on your particular country. So there you go. I hope I've proved that you almost certainly can pick up a 
traditional 20 megahertz dual channel analog oscilloscope in working condition for 50 bucks or less you've just got to be patient you've got to know how to use ebay the completed listings know what things are worth get a feel for the brands set up watch lists and things like that which i haven't gone into i won't go into the technicalities of actually using ebay and things like that it's not hard to figure out yourself it, it pretty much doesn't matter what country you're in i think yeah there might be some Okay, yes, I'll admit it, and I'll probably get lots of flame email. Oh, I can't get it in my country. I've done it, searched a million times, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, well, okay, keep searching. Maybe you'll get lucky. And as I've said, you can actually get these things for free. People give them away. I've done it myself. I know many other people have given them away if you simply ask in the right places and ask nicely. It's not rocket science. I don't, and, you know, get one of these old scopes if you're a beginner. Don't go out and buy one of those little, you know, DSO Nano Pocket iPod scopes or one of those little kits, like I said in my previous video. They just, no. Get a real oscilloscope like one of these. You'll learn a ton. And you can pick them up for reasonable prices or free. I just proved it. Anyway, so please, no more comments on this that I can't get a scope. Anyway, if you want to discuss it, EV Blog Forum is the test equipment hangout, of course. And you can also follow me on Twitter, where I rant about this sort of stuff all the time. Catch you next time.